Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with the center O along with this uh, chord uh, AC and this segment uh, OD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, AD is uh, 3 units. The segment uh, CD is uh, 8 units. And finally, the segment uh, OD is uh, Four units and furthermore uh, a b is the diameter of this uh, semicircle and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started with the solution and in this video I am going to share with you with two different approaches so therefore please watch the video till the very end and here's our very first method and we are going to think outside the box and we are going to focus on the full circle with the center O and now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple as you can see in this uh, next step and we have extended uh, this segment uh, OD all the way to point uh, E and uh, F on this circle and now let's assume that this uh, OF is the radius uh, of this circle. I'm going to label that one as uh, lowercase uh, r. And we know this uh, segment uh, OD is 4. So therefore uh, this whole segment uh, DF is going to be r plus 4. So we can write uh, r plus 4 over here. And now we are going to figure out uh, this uh, tiny segment uh, DE. This is going to be equal to this uh, whole uh, diameter EF which is going to be 2 times uh, R and then minus uh, this uh, segment uh, R plus 4. So I'm going to write down R plus uh, 4. Let's simplify that is going to give us 2R minus R minus 4 and that is going to be equal to r minus 4 so therefore the tiny segment uh, de is going to be r minus 4 and now let's recall the intersecting chords uh, theorem according to this theorem if two chords uh, intersect in a circle then the products uh, of the measures uh, of the segments of the chord are equal as you can see in this given diagram here we got two chords uh, A, C and B, D intersect each other at this point such that our this uh, segment uh, is uh, lowercase a, this segment is uh, lowercase b, this segment is uh, lowercase c and finally this segment uh, is uh, lowercase d such that according to this theorem uh, A times B is going to be equal to C times D. And now we are going to apply this theorem on this given problem. And here we can see our two chords uh, E, F uh, and uh, A, C intersect each other at this point uh, D such that uh, the product of these two segments uh, R minus 4 times this segment uh, R plus 4 is going to be equal to 3 times uh, this segment uh, 8. So therefore we can write down uh, R minus 4 times uh, R plus 4 is going to be equal to 3 times uh, 8. And now let's recall this famous identity A minus B times A plus B equal to A square minus B square. In other words the product of the difference uh, and the sum is going to be equal to the difference of uh, their squares. And we are going to apply this uh, identity on the left uh, hand side. So therefore left hand side could be written as uh, r square minus 16 equals to 24. And now we are going to add 16 on both sides. So this is gone. So therefore uh, our r square value turns out to be 40. So thus our r square value turns out to be 40. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square where r is the radius. So therefore uh, the semicircle area is going to be 
pi divided by 2 times uh, r square. And now we know that our r square value is 40. So I'm going to replace that uh, r square with uh, 40 over here. So therefore we can write uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, 40. And if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 20 times uh, pi. So thus the area of the semicircle turns out to be 20 times pi square units by using the very first method. And here's our second approach. And here I have added uh, an auxiliary line uh, or E such that uh, this OD length uh, equals to this uh, OE length. In other words, if this uh, segment length is 4, then this uh, OE length has got to be 4 units as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ODE. And we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length equal to this side length. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, segment uh, AD is going to be equal to this segment uh, EC. If this is uh, 3, then this segment has got to be 3 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole code uh, AC is uh, 3 plus 8 is going to give us uh, 11 units. So therefore, uh, this mid segment uh, DE is going to be only 5 units. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, OF uh, on this uh, segment uh, DE. I'm going to call this perpendicular lowercase uh, x. And we know this is our isosceles uh, triangle and this is our perpendicular. So therefore, uh, this segment which is uh, 5 uh, units, then this uh, segment uh, df equals to ef that means this is uh, 5 divided by 2 and this segment is 5 divided by 2 units as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, odf and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse uh, is uh, 4 whereas our two other legs are x and 5 divided by 2. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, 5 divided by 2 whole square is going to be equal to 4 square. Let's simplify. We are going to get uh, x square plus uh, 25 divided by 4 is going to be equal to 16. I'm going to move this uh, 25 divided by 4 on the other side. And here in this uh, next step, I have tweaked this uh, 16 as uh, 16 divided by 4 to make sure we have the same uh, denominator. So therefore, x square is going to be equal to 64 minus 25 divided by 4. In other words, our x square value turns out to be 39 divided by 4. So thus our x square value turns out to be 39 divided by 4. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle AFO. And we can see this uh, whole uh, side uh, AF is going to be the sum of these two numbers. 3 and 5 uh, divided by 2. Let's go ahead and add them. 3 plus uh, 5 uh, divided by 2. And if we simplify and add, uh, that is going to give us uh, 11 divided by 2. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, AF length is going to be 11 uh, divided by 2 units. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, A square plus B square equal to C square. And we can see that this uh, AO is the hypotenuse uh, of this uh, triangle. And this is our radius uh, lowercase r. And our other two legs are uh, x uh, and 11 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, 11 divided by 2 whole square is going to be equal to r square. And now we know that our x square value we already figured out is uh, 
39 divided by 4. So I'm going to replace that 139 divided by 4 over here. So therefore I can write uh, 39 divided by 4 plus this is going to give us uh, 121 divided by 4 equal to r square or we can write r square equals to 39 plus uh, 121 divided by 4 and that is going to give us r square equal to 160 divided by 4 in other words uh, r square value turns out to be 40 so thus our r square value turns out to be 40 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, semi circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is always equal to pi r square where r is the radius so therefore uh, the semi circle area is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, r square and now we know our r square value is 40 so i'm going to substitute that value 40 over here so therefore we can write uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, 40 and that is going to give us uh, 20 times uh, pi square units the area of this uh, semicircle so thus the area of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 20 times pi square units by using the second method as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye